What's going on, everybody? So apparently we got Mrs. Jaguar, we got Piers Morgan, we got Diddy, but now we got Jay-Z and Beyonce having to step into the mix and send some shots at Mr. Piers Morgan over the critically acclaimed Mrs. Conspiracy Theory Jaguar Wright. But it leads people to wonder because there's a lot of speculation in the world right now as of if Jaguar Wright has never missed, why has nobody sent a cease and desist or filed a lawsuit? But the day has finally come. Let's get into it. Now, if you don't know who Jaguar Wright is, she is one of the main people in the music industry who kind of exposes the truth of the stuff that's happening within the industry. But for a lot of years, the speculations have been so extreme, it's kind of been hard for people to wrap their minds around it if she's telling the truth or not. That's why they call her kind of a conspiracy theorist. Now, she's went on Piers Morgan platform and they were talking about the Diddy situation. Now, this was the key moment that the whole world is talking about where she made these big speculations about Jay-Z and Beyonce being just as bad as Diddy. But this is where it kind of gets bad after this happened. Why there is no vindication for me? Mm. Because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim-making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere, forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response. That changes now, Sean. You must respond. Now, for the longest time, everybody thought, well, she can't be wrong. Nobody's coming out to say anything. That is until Jay-Z Beyonce sent a cease and desist to Piers Morgan. I mean, even Piers Morgan had to come in and apologize. So with all the Diddy speculation going on in the world, and as much as people want to drag Jay-Z into it, there really isn't much probable cause as of now. And so the way he responded, it even leave Piers Morgan to have to come back and readdress those issues. Because DJ Vlad got on there and said, well, I don't take anything that Jaguar says seriously. And the whole internet went into a debacle saying everybody's just trying to cover up for Diddy because they don't want anything to come out about them. But surely enough, through all the controversy, Piers Morgan has to issue his apology after Jay-Z and Beyonce send that smoke over to him. Well, Jay, you were right, unexpectedly made several serious allegations about Jay-Z and Beyonce during that interview. As I said in the moment, they were not present to respond or defend themselves, but now they have. Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact, and we've therefore complied with the legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing, editing interviews is not something we do lightly at a show called Uncensored. Uh, but, like the proverbial cries of fire in a crowded theatre, there are legal limits on us too. And we apologise to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Now, though, that is super interesting how, through all of this stuff, where people keep trying to bring in different names in the Diddy allegations, where Jay-Z can actually send a cease and desist, and then uh, even Piers Morgan has to apologise because what they seem to have said was not factual. Now, it makes you not want to believe Vlad's accusations when he said he'd never invited Jaguar to his platform because she's a well-known liar. But there's a lot of people in the industry who also feel like if she's such a liar, why has nobody sued her yet? This is the first case where we see a, a, a cease and desist letter being sent over something that Jaguar has said. But it makes it very hard to understand what to believe and what's happening in the industry. That's why I say all the rumors and all the speculation is pointless until we at least get to see what happened. We know what was happening with Diddy because we actually got to read through the indictment. But what's everybody is speculating Jay-Z this and Jay-Z that based on rumors. But this is why rumors are not really facts because they're just rumors. So until things actually happen, that's the only way we can really understand and make assumptions. Now, have Jaguar always been wrong? I'm not too sure because I wasn't there to really know. But it's a crazy how someone can go on such a long run with all these stories and nobody try to send a cease and desist until now because defamation of character is real if it was true if it was not true all the stuff she was saying somebody would have been sent a uh, cease and desist as jay-z and beyonce did to Piers morgan and clearly it was strong enough that he even issued a whole apology instead of just saying oh we got this we're gonna ride all the way through that's the power in having some truth behind what's going on so maybe they got a really good legal team maybe their pr strength is so strong that they can kind of fight against this but um Really, all we have to do is wait and see what the hell is really happening inside the industry and if Jaguar Wright would be right all along. But as I always say, you let me know your thoughts. It is your boy, Dre. Once again, I sift through all the noise so you don't have to. That's a little bit about what's happening with Jay-Z and Beyonce and the whole Piers Morgan scandal because 
like I always say, you got to wait for the facts to come out. You can't believe everybody, but, um, you know, controversy sells. I'm gone. Peace.